existed. Korea. Korea in December 1950. Looks cold, don't it? Colder than the heart of a comic. Well, maybe that's exaggerating. It's only 17 below. Here I go grousing again. Grousing, beefing, griping. Well, why not? We know our rights. We're the United States Marines. Wish I knew why we're hanging around here, why we aren't pushing on. We finished taking that Doc Gun reservoir up there yesterday. They call it Choice Sin or Choice Sand or something like that. lead pipe cinch. It never is when the enemy is dug in on top and you're moving up from the bottom. Moving? In this temperature? <laughs> you just put one frozen foot in front of the other. You hope and you pray your heart don't bust wide open from pounding. <coughs> or a sniper don't hit you where it counts. And you keep on going. Up, up, up. Show us a hill or a mountain in this country and we've either been there or going there. War would be a pleasure if they'd only fight it on the level. <laughs> Big joke. Try and get those reds to do anything on the level. I must be getting lightheaded, the altitude, I guess. So those are the goofs that have been sending down their highest regards. We'd love nothing better than to tattoo their hides, but we don't fight that kind of war. We bring them back alive. Those grinning gophers know it. We even take care of their wounded. Let's get back to camp. Thank goodness I'm still perpendicular. There are a couple of our guys who aren't and never will be. yesterday and we're still here in breezy acres deep freeze county korea come on come on let's push at least it'll keep the circulation going wait a minute maybe we're getting the word right now yep we're pushing on at last. But what's the gag? We're heading in the wrong direction. A couple of days ago we came up this way. There must be some mistake. Somebody back there must have goofed off. 
Nobody goofed off, Sarge. You see that map? If you'll keep your well-known lip buttoned up, I'll tell you what the deal is. You see that dark area? Well, that's where you are. You and the rest of the 1st Marine Division. And I don't have to tell you how you got there. I know if I told you that you're a bunch of tough cookies and we're proud of you, but, well, it might upset your digestion. So I'll skip the bouquets and give you the dope straight. You're all in a trap. About 20,000 of you. Yeah, cut off. You've been too busy kicking the stuffings out of these red Koreans. So evidently, you haven't been reading the papers. You're not just fighting Korean commies. But they're pals, Chinese commies. There are a few hundred thousand of them. Sure, that's a dirty low-down trick. Sure, that's hitting below the belt. But save your breath, Sarge. I told you, they're commies. Just keep on punching your way south to Hung Nam. There's help on the way. Well, how do you care for them, potatoes? Chinese commies. How about them? Getting slugged by a Sunday punch. Why, those... Now we gotta keep punching our way south, back to Hung Nam. Take every one of those mountains again, one by one. Oh, sure, we know the way, all right. No need any road maps. Know every rock and ridge and ravine in every one of them ruddy mountains. And what was that he said? There's help on the way. Navy and Marine planes. The more, the merrier. Smack off a carrier. Off a school of carriers, Sarge. And they'll keep coming off, day in and day out. Sortie after sortie. They aim to help spring you from that trap. They aim to keep those commies digging their way back to China while you fellas keep fighting your way to the sea. Drown us all in the ocean? Who's he kidding? Yeah, morale talk. Why don't they level with us and tell us the truth? What gives now? Stop it again. Oh, taking a gander at that mountain ridge. Snipers. Snipers, snipers, snipers. All the time, snipers. We knock off five and ten, take their place. Uh, we've been through this routine before. More planes! Maybe if we're lucky, we can sit this one out. Let them have it! Fire treatment, great! Come on, let's move on. Well, who am I to talk? I'm at least riding one of these joy wagons. Look at those poor mugs. Slogging it out. Ah, 
stopping again. Probably some gyrene piled his truck into the guy in front of him. More than likely fell asleep at the wheel. Oh, I see what's holding us up. We're coming into civilization. Welcome to Hagaroo. Speed limit two miles an hour. It's warmer down here. No wonder. Fifteen below. Maybe we can get a cup of coffee here and some beans. Hey, look, they're dropping supplies. Right smack in the pig pen. Gotta hand it to him. Maybe that wasn't all morale talk. Thanks for them few kind words, Sarge. And when you get to Kodo and Coterie, you'll give us another pat on the back. If you can spare it, then. You'll find airstrips there, which we scraped out. Not quite as large as LaGuardia, and not as practical. But you can't be too choosy when there are wounded to be gotten out in a hurry. Anything that has wings is going in there. over, we'll ferry out every seriously wounded and frostbitten man in your division. And if statistics don't bore you, Sarge, the figure will be very close to 1,000. Now put that morale talk in your pipe and smoke it. That guy's getting a little cocky. But facts are facts. Okay, you lugs, pull up stakes and saddle up. We're boondocking out of here, Prado, and heading south. Sat down in the valley. It's the army. Hiya, fellas. Glad to see you. What's the word? What's cooking? Well, you don't know either, huh? I guess you've been too busy fighting. I don't think it's been a cinch for us either. But you're fresh from the south. We figured you'd have some dope. Doesn't anybody know what's going on? Take another gander at the map. You see those three arcs? The ones that are dancing? Well, you are now inside that outer perimeter. If you keep moving on down to the sea, we'll keep on shrinking that perimeter. OK, OK, but what happens when we run out of perimeter? Well, talk up, what happens? That's what I figured. He's fresh out of strategy. Not quite, Sarge. Listen to that. Uncle Sam's battle wagon. Pretty sweet music, huh? You'll be hearing a lot from them from now on. Round the clock.
be lobbing them all. And the Rocket Boys will be in there pitching too. So will the artillery, the Air Force. Okay, okay, you won this round. Come on, you gyrenes, keep moving. Look at those poor devils. Fine way to spend Christmas tomorrow. Running for their lives. Nothing left behind them and nowhere's to go. Wonder where they are going. Guess it don't matter to them as long as they keep putting plenty of country between them and the commies. They know, and boy, how they know, that if the commies ever catch up with them, it's the last mile. Beginning to like the scenery around here a lot better. The climate, too. You can even smell the salt air. Must be we're getting close to the sea. And then what? Come on there, big talk. I'll admit you helped get us back here, but what then? Why not level with us? When it's Christmas time in the USA, it'll be Dunkirk time in Korea. Hey, wait one little gall darn minute. I must be going loony. What's that? That, Sarge, is the U.S. Navy, waiting to give you a boat ride. You and your outfit, the U.N. board, the Army, our South Korean friends, and every single solitary piece of equipment, weapon, and shell on that beach. and everything rides. No one and nothing stays behind. It doesn't look like Dunkirk time in Korea to me, sorry. Nobody's pushing anyone into the ocean, are they, Sarge? Maybe the accommodations aren't strictly cabin class, but everybody will ride. Everybody will eat. And everybody will sleep. And you've got to admit that they're putting on a pretty good show. Shoving off soon. Here come the last of the army boys who held the beachhead. You did a great job, fellas. What's holding us up? Now I'm beginning to sound like the Sarge. Oh, I see. There are a few minor details to be looked after on shore. No use leaving anything for the commies. Those boys 
boys deserve a hand, too. That's the Navy's underwater demolition team number three. Great bunch, those frogmen. some fireworks in a minute. Stand by. Fingers in your ears. Are she blows. last-minute statistics for you. Aboard 193 ships of Uncle Sam's Navy, there are about 91,000 South Koreans, men, women, and children. There are 17,500 vehicles of all makes, shapes, sizes, and dimensions. There are 350,000 tons of valuable cargo. And even you'll admit that's a lot of cargo. And there are over 105,000 free fighting men. Within a few weeks, these same men will be on their way to victory in the great counteroffensive of early 1951. A history-making comeback after history's most successful evacuation. So a well done to everybody, and anchors away. <laughs> <laughs> 